What's going on everybody, Kenan here, and today we are gonna be talking about a very interesting and unique box turtle. It is a Terrapinae box turtle. In other words, it's related to the box turtles we find here in the United States, but this one is from Mexico, and as you can see, it is fully aquatic. This is Camp Kenan. This is the Cohelan box turtle, and I am doing an extreme close-up right now. We're gonna back on up, and I'm gonna let you guys know where we actually are. We are at Garden State Turtle and Tortoise. I'm with Chris Leone. There he is right there. We're gonna learn about this species. Maybe he'll go in and grab one for us, but I'm really excited to talk about this particular species um, as it is so different than everyone else. It doesn't look too different, uh, but it is. It's actually aquatic, but no real webbing either on the feet there, is there? No, they're they're all around. They're you know essentially a North American box turtle. They've got the hinge that allows them to close up completely. They don't have webbed feet. Huh. They got the domed shell, but somehow, somewhere, some way, they're fully equipped for life underwater. Now, where these guys are found, talk to me a little bit about the habitat. It's kind of a restricted habitat, isn't it? Yeah, they're only found in the uh, Cuatro Cienegas uh, wetlands uh, in Mexico. That's it. There are no others anywhere else. And recent studies suggest that there's only 1,700 of them left in the wild. So they are one of the top most endangered turtle species on the planet. Um, and they I, I mean, I tried to mimic their enclosure, uh, their wild habitat with uh, the enclosure where they're just kind of blasted with full sun and they incur they occur in these like beautiful pools in the middle of a desert pretty much wow you know sandy substrate grasses water with some aquatic vegetation so kind of an oasis like environment yeah yeah exactly so these guys have been uh, who knows how long this population has been isolated right. uh, by the surrounding desert you know i mean there's many different geographical types of isolation there's islands there's mountains um and of course deserts so you've got this oasis in the middle of the desert it would make sense if desertification uh, desertification is that the right term if that were happening uh after the last ice age then basically this animal would of course gravitate towards the water that was remaining Right. And take to it. it. It's actually really taken to it because you'll find North American box turtles not far from water. In fact, you have a species of North American box that you would consider pretty, uh, pretty aquatic. Yeah, the Gulf, the Gulf Coast box turtle, um, which is pretty well known, is um, also very aquatic. You know, they'll they'll jump in the water and swim out just like a painted turtle. But um, I think what's different about these guys is that they're they really rely on the water not only just because they've adapted to it through evolution, but they've also, um, there's really nowhere else for them to go. It's a desert, you know, yeah. they're gonna burn up, you know? So they, they spend 90% of their time in the water, but in captivity, I've at least found that they're not unlike other terrapine species. You know, they'll, they'll eat on land, they'll spend time on land, they'll, they like leaf litter and pine needles and things that they can burrow into. But at any given time, especially in a hot day like this, they're in the water and they swim and they, you know, they have no issue. Yeah, let's see, maybe we'll put her down and see if, uh, We'll get some cool shots of her swimming so you guys can just see how aquatic they really are. I mean, it's they dive no problem and disappear. Whereas, you know, with a um, you know regular uh, eastern box, it always seems like they can swim if they have to, yeah. mm -hmm. but they don't really dive. It seems like there's always air in their carapace that uh, prohibits them from actually doing any kind of real diving. Or they'll, they'll I've seen them like walk along the bottom. Okay. Not like a full swim. Gotcha. You know? Very, very cool, man. So this enclosure is amazing. I mean, look at guys. Like he was saying earlier, we've got so much grass. You found another one? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Actually, the very first one that I hatched. He's, really? Yeah, he's five years old and he's a male. So that's yeah. pretty big for five years. I yeah. mean, that's some great growth. Yeah, he is. He's blown up pretty quick. You know, he, not, you know, and they have to be inside in the winter, and uh, you know that helps them with uh, growing a little bit faster than they usually would in the wild. And they're yeah. just like any other box turtle, so they'd have the longer tails and yeah. concave the plastron. Concave plastron, probably hard to see, but he does have the longer tail. And what a lot of people don't realize with any um, North American box turtle is the rear legs. The males have those really long, almost like they don't fit the body. Yeah. So there's that. And those hooks yeah. on their nails. Oh, yeah. The nails really recurve, and that's so that they can get up under the female's carapace and yep. just hang on, right? And yeah, and you know, the other thing about them too is unlike, you know, with like Eastern box turtles or Gulf Coasts, or even three toads the coloration between the sexes with cohelan box they're not they're no, there's no difference they're the same you know they have that same greenish tan yellowish color so they're not 
you know, I mean, I think they're beautiful, but they're not particularly the right. most aesthetically pleasing box turtle with those reds and oranges and, and like, or the white heads that some of them get. But, and that essentially might be helping them, you know, the, uh, from poaching, you know. Gotcha. Um, but they are, regardless, probably the most unique of the turtle. Yeah, I would genus. say for them, it's the, the, the actual habits they possess. Right. What they do is m the most interesting thing and in yeah. that they're always swimming. So if you've ever been interested in aquatic species, I mean, this is definitely one that, that provides uh, a lot of, uh, well, we keep throwing around the word unique, but unique behaviors, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And so this, this is a lined pond right here? Yeah, it's a liner. And you have the anacharis plant and some duckweed. And look at this, look, right down, no problem. <laughs> uh, how many are actually in this enclosure? There's two males. Uh, he's the young one, and then there's the, the an adult one. Um, then there's uh, two adult females, a sub-adult female, and a, a two-year-old female. All right, and as far as diet, very similar to any other terrapinae? Well, these guys eat in the water, so they take to the pellets a lot easier. That's than cool. Box turtles. You know, we'll, we'll throw pellets in here, different high-quality turtle pellets, and they'll eat those, but they also, you know, they'll eat bugs. They'll eat yep. uh, pinky mice, earthworms, you know. And there's they plenty going on out here. They do not seem to be into any kind of vegetation as far as eating goes. Okay, so they're more carnivorous. Yeah. In the wild, they say that they do eat some um, plant matter, but I've never experienced it here. And if they are, they're doing it in secret. Yeah. So, all right, everybody, very cool species that we rarely get to see here in North America, but when you uh, crash Garden State Turtle and Tortoise uh, when you're in New Jersey, which is uh, what I've just done, uh, you're going to see some really cool stuff. So anytime I'm in New Jersey, I like getting over here to Chris's place because it's very beautiful, it's well done, and he's got a lot of knowledge. So you can follow him on Instagram. Uh, it's Gardens. Go ahead, tell him, because there's some underscores and stuff yeah, that I don't no, remember. Underscores. Yeah, underscores. Garden underscores. Hmm. Garden, Garden underscore state underscore tortoise. There you go. And, uh, you know, he does sell some of these animals. So uh, I don't know particularly this species, but he's got a lot of beautiful animals, mostly uh, testudo species like your Greek tortoises, marginated and Hermans, of course. But you can just see all the beautiful enclosures, how they're all well done. Uh, he basically, you said something to me earlier. Um, your, your, what's your mantra here, man? Nature. Nature. That's Nature. right. That's why you can Make see. Make it natural. That's it. That's why I think he and I are kindred spirits because I'm down in Florida trying to do the same thing. All right, everybody, go check him out on Instagram. Uh, please do me a favor. Head on over to patreon.com slash camp if you guys are interested in helping out the videos so we can continue to travel and bring you more exciting and fun educational content about the animals we love. Like and share the videos. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. See y'all.